can't believe it. He was right again. When will I learn not to wager my gold against Razumdar's instincts? He said you would be coming this way. Is it true, then? Did you persuade the Wilder King to swear loyalty to Queen Iren? The Wilder Queen, eh? Times are changing in Valenwood, aren't they? All this has put the Dominion in a delicate position. I suppose that's why it's so important that we are here. Razumdar sent me here to await your arrival. He wants you to join him as quickly as possible. It seems Vicereve Peladil came this way after stealing the Staff of Magnus. Who can be certain? I suspect he merely seeks to find a ship and flee back to the Somerset Isles. Perhaps he is determined to see Prince Naaman's body laid to rest there. Razumdar has his own suspicions, though, and he seemed quite concerned. He was unwilling to share his suspicions with me. Whatever his instincts may be, though, this time I will wager that he's on the mark. Undoubtedly, Razumdar intends to share his thoughts with you. You'll find him in the Thalmor headquarters. Will you hold still? This illusion requires precision, which I cannot achieve with your tail constantly twitching. Bah! The Stalmor mage will drive Razumdar mad. Stand here, hold this, everything so exact. This one prefers more flexibility. He is glad another eye is here who understands, because we must move quickly here if we are to protect the Dominion. We must find Peladil, of course. This one tracked his stinking hide here after he stole the Staff of Magnus. He's the boss of the Veiled Heritance now, and he has allies here in Woodhearth. Dirty traitors who conspire against Queen Irene. This we do not know yet, but Razumdar has devised the perfect way to flush these rats from their hidey holes. If they had an opportunity to assassinate the Queen, surely they would take advantage of it, yes? No, Razumdar will be the Queen instead, if this mage does his job, of course. We will go soon, so Raz must prepare. Speak to Trithane Fariel. She can tell you more about the traitors who are helping Peladil. This one would ask a favor. If the Stalmor mage turns Razumdar into a monkey, you must exact vengeance. Oh, and you would need to track down Peladil on your own. Raz hopes this will not be the case, though. I've served the Thalmor for almost twenty years now, as an advisor in the matter of healing arts. Veiled heritants were using my notes? No. What have I done? I, I was young and foolish when I wrote these notes. I just wanted to save my wife from a consuming plague. Oh, I should have destroyed them then. I will destroy them now. Thank you. Always finding room for improvement. So you're the one who's going to accompany the cat on this guar brain scheme of his? I hope you realize what you're up against. These traitors in our city have sought to stir up rebellion since the day King Camoran joined the Dominion. So you'd think, but we've never caught any of the traitors. They may not actually be Bosmer at all. Our enemies are always one step ahead of us. Roman doesn't want to believe it, but I think it's obvious there's a spy among the Thalmor. No, we've gone to great pains to keep Razumdar's plans secret. The spy must believe that Iren is really here. There have been rumors that the Maoma plan to raid us, so we've put word out that the Queen has come to make sure the city's safe. Yes, 
Mad as the cat may be, his plan might actually work. The story is that the Queen wants to personally investigate the old Imperial underground. You'll escort her there to meet Asteril, a Thalmor officer we suspect may be a spy. Ha! The cat didn't tell you, did he? No, we can't send any guards. We don't know who we can trust. He thinks the two of you can handle it, though. I don't know if I'd call that confidence or foolhardiness, but I hope Bondar is with you either way. As soon as Sanadol gets the spell right and turns your friend into a queen. Assuming this works, you and Razumdar should leave for the Imperial Underground straight away. Oh, here we go now. It's about time. Hmm. Very convincing. But is the illusion applied everywhere? Perhaps this one should take a moment in private to double check, yes? There were no miscalculations, I assure you. Now excuse me, I must watch the smell of cat from my robes. Raz looks good in this form, but then Raz always looks good. Queen Irene could maybe learn a thing or two from this one. A fair point. Raz, uh, I will keep that in mind. You have spoken with the Tree Thane, then. You understand my genius plan, yes? Yes. There we will find out the truth about this Thalmor officer, Astaril. She's quite the beauty, I'm told, but traitors are never what they seem, yes? This one is... no. I'm ready when you are. Be ready. This one is counting on you to watch his, uh, her back. Astril, is that you? Yes. Come closer, my queen. I have something for you. What is this? A gift in memory of Prince Naaman. Vice Reeve Peladil sends his regards. You will die. And the true king of Alinor will rise again. Well, that hurt. Raz will be fine. A few burns will not kill this one. But uh, for the moment, he thinks you should press on alone. You must catch Astaril and find out where Peladil is hiding. She used some kind of magic to escape, but it was not a portal, so she cannot have gone far. She must still be here, somewhere in these tunnels.
who's next. Raz heard sounds of fighting. Did you catch up with Astaril? Were you able to question her about Peladil? Dark moons. If Astaril got away, we will have to track her down. And the Veiled Heritance is here? That is troubling. Razumdar suspected a few might have come, but he did not expect them to be here in any numbers. Hmm. Some of Razumdar's contacts warned him that the Veiled Heritance was not putting all its hopes on Prince Neyman, that they had backup plan. Neyman is dead. This must be backup plan. Possibly. If they cannot rule the Dominion, perhaps they would destroy it by attacking Valenwood. But Raz would not have thought the Heritance could muster enough manpower. Let us go. We must tell Trithane Fariel what we have learned. What do you want? Foolish mentor. What exactly do you think is going to... You strike an imposing figure, friend. And you look like you might not be shy about using it to make a little coin, yes? I've got a little problem, and I think the answer just stepped onto this balcony. The boss offers certain services here in Woodhart. As expected, such services are not free. One called Mantir owes the boss a cut of his profits, but is holding out now that his payment is due. This one means to collect, one way or the other. Only certain kinds of people profit from war. Mantir has benefited particularly, even as we are spread thin. In such times, we often employ outsiders, collect the payment from Mantir, and the cut of it is yours. Simple, yes? What do you want? Quite busy at the moment, sorry. I'll be lucky if this hall allows me to keep myself fed, much less pay off my debts. Please, leave me to my work. Ah, oh, not this again. Look, run along and tell those flea-bitten cats that I'll have their coin as soon as possible. It isn't my fault that damn clever farwin nicked it right out from under my nose. What? Ah, oh, fine. I'd rather be hungry than dead. I never thought those Khajiit would resort to such tactics. Here, yeah, take it and be gone.
return, and with the gold, yes? We'll see about that. But you have done as was asked, and will have your gold as we agreed. The noble Bashira appreciates your service, and your discretion. Look at you. If what Razandar says is true, the city of Woodhearth owes you a debt. Of course, if the city's attacked and destroyed, that won't be worth much. Maybe we can prevent that. The cat said you found orders from Vice Reeve Peladil. Can I see them? Damn, this proves that Peladil is planning something here. Something even bigger than killing the Queen. I'm glad you brought it to light. I just hope it's not too late for us to do something about it. There's something about Peladil's orders. The reference to Astral seems strange, and a Roman still refuses to believe she betrayed us. Either way, Astral's the key to unraveling this mess. We need to question her and find out what she knows. Well, if she hasn't realized we're onto her, we might be able to catch her by surprise. She might be down at the Thalmor residence right now. I assume a Roman will want to be there when you confront her. The three of you should go quickly, though. Even if Astral's fled the city, you might be able to find some clues about Peladil's plans in her quarters. Let's hope you find something, because otherwise we don't have much to go on. This is preposterous. Astral has risked her life for the Dominion more times than I can count. She is one of my best officers. I refuse to believe this irresponsible slander until I have spoken with her myself. You must understand, one doesn't become a Thalmor agent until their loyalty is proven beyond question. If Astral confesses, or if we find substantial proof, I will admit I was wrong. Until then, I remain extremely skeptical. This is Thalmor business, and I am going to the Thalmor residence to confront Astral myself. You are welcome to accompany me if you choose. You see? It's clear that Astral has been dead for some time, so she cannot have been the one you saw in the Imperial Tunnels. <laughs> I told you, say what you will about the Thalmor, but we do not have traitors in our midst. Her death troubles me greatly, but the integrity of the Thalmor is of greater concern, and I am pleased to be proven right in that respect. With that concern behind us, we can finally start searching for the true source of this treachery. Undoubtedly, it was the same person that assumed her likeness and attempted to assassinate the queen, uh, Razumdar. Speaking of the cat, it seems he may have found something. Some useful evidence down here. Let us look closely before moving on. Asteril had a sister? A twin, perhaps? That would explain much. Raz suspects these tunnels will reveal the rest. That would 
teach them not to cross us. I thought. Oh, perfect. My favorite people. The very faces of my failure. And now you've tracked me down just to watch me die? You're just like my sister and the rest of the Thalmor. No sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was wondering the same thing. Then I realized he lured me here so his assassins could kill me. This is my reward for my loyal service. A blade in my gut, and a nice cold tomb. Planning? Oh, he's well past that point. As we speak, his armies are storming the shore, up at Seaside Sanctuary. Once they've got a foothold there, they'll conquer all of Valenwood. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Of course not. They're just one prong of the mighty trident with which Peladil will smite the Dominion. He signed a treaty with the Malma, and with the Staff of Magnus, he's going to raise an army of undead. Yes, your days are numbered all right. Of course, who better to lead an undead army than an undead prince? And if Peladil brings him back, Naaman will be bound by the Vicereve's will. No longer will Peladil need to worry about the Prince making bad decisions. Ha! <sighs> Peladil says he's under no illusions about that fact. But he still gets rather glossy-eyed when speaking about Naaman. I suspect he still harbors some hope that the Prince will play a role in the future he has envisioned. Just leave me to die. I wouldn't accept your help and you'd be better off not offering. It's too late. He can't be stopped. Razendar explained how we were fooled by Laryril. I wish I had time to show proper gratitude. But he also told me that an army of Maramur, led by Vice Reeve Peladil, is making landing on our shores. 
Is this true? Damn. Honestly, I rather hoped he misheard. I suppose that's rarely the case. Very well, then. I will muster the city's defences, but there is only so much we can do. I'm certainly glad you're here. You and Razumdar may be our best hope. You should get to Seaside Sanctuary as soon as possible. If we strike the Maoma hard enough there, we might be able to drive them back out to sea before they get a foothold on the shore. I'll send anyone I can spare, but the city comes first. There is an outpost at the Sanctuary with a few soldiers, if it hasn't been overrun. Go through the Serpent's Grotto and look for Major Serenway. She's the commanding officer. Frozen faces. She killed them all. Froze them solid. How am I supposed to defeat that? I had to run, right? I had to hide or I'd be killed too. Who is mother? A legendary beast. We'll kill it and take home the trophy and be legends ourselves, we said. We charged and she... Well, just look down there. They're screaming faces, frozen in death. <laughs> it's stupid. I snagged my foot in a root and tripped. While the others were slaughtered, I was face down in the mud. I know I should avenge them, but I'm a coward. Please, help me. Destroy that... thing. That troll can't have gotten far. Damn troll. Got away again. Impossible to kill. You really got yourself in it this time, Lord Ronor. I'm a member of the Hounds. Maybe you heard of us? Sport hunters mainly, although sometimes people hire us to do the occasional good deed. Like killing a troll that's been terrorizing other hunters. Unfortunately, the troll got the better of me. It won't be easy, but you look like you can handle yourself. Do you know how to track? Crouch low to the ground and look carefully. You'll see signs of the trolls passing. Track it and kill it, and bring me its arm as proof.
Who's next? There you are. I felt embarrassed at my cowardice sending you back after this thing after I'd fled. I thought I'd come to help you avenge my companions. You did it? You must be stronger than you look. Thank you for avenging my hunting party and making the area safer for all. I don't have much, but take this as my thanks to you. Dwellers of darkest oblivion, come forth! The veil is pierced. Pass through the gate of my retreat. Better luck next time. Oh, wait. Alive? Does that mean... Did you kill the troll? Well, that's a relief. I couldn't have lived with myself if it had killed you. You'd make a pretty good hound, you know. Thanks. Legend in the Hounds is that there was a wood elf named Horace who was the best tracker there ever was. I think you might be in competition for the title now.